wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. Now we go to the topic of deviation of actual gas turbine cycle from idealized one. The deviation of actual cycle from ideal cycle is uh, because of pressure drop during the heat addition or heat rejection irreversibility in compressor and turbine and heat loss. So, if we can see from this TS diagram, the irreversibility in the compressor and turbine can cause uh, the deviation between actual and ideal. So, as I mentioned in my previous lecture, that the deviation only occurs at the exit of compressor and exit of Turbine. So, in an exit of compressor, we have two. One is isentropic and one is actual. The same goes to the exit of turbine. This is for isentropic uh, exit for turbine and actual exit of turbine. So, we have for S and for A. Okay, if we plotting here, we will get S1 is equal to S2S and S3 is equal to S4S. So for the compressor, we have the isentropic efficiency is isentropic work over actual work given here as a H2S minus H1 over H2A minus H1. Since Brighton deal with a gas, then we can write as a Cp T2S minus T1 over Cp T2A minus T1. You can cancel Cp. Okay. And for turbine here, the isentropic efficiency of a turbine is actual work over isentropic work. H3 minus H4A divided with H3 minus H4S. So we can write it as a Cp T3 minus T4A over Cp T3 minus T4S. Alright. So this is an example of actual gas turbine. Okay, the Brighton cycle discussed in previous example is reconsidered. So the, the previous example is here. Okay, so please uh, make a revision of this example. So after that, you can do these examples. Okay, assuming a compressor now has an efficiency of 80% and turbine efficiency has uh, 80%. Sketch TS diagram and determine backward ratio and thermal efficiency. Okay, so the 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 differences between this example and previous example is compressor and turbine now has an isentropic efficiency okay so what is the backward ratio okay whether it increase or decrease let's have a look okay first thing first the question asks us to sketch the TS diagram. So you sketch the TS diagram. This is for vertical and this is horizontal. Then 1 to 2 is compressor, isentropic compressor. So 1 to 2. And uh, since the compressor has an isentropic efficiency, so you have to have 2S and 2A. Then the gas will enter the combustion chamber and the temperature will increase to the maximum temperature T3. At the T3, the gas will enter at the entrance of the turbine okay, and there will be isentropic expansion. Since the turbine has isentropic efficiency, therefore it will have 4S and 4A. Okay, please write down S1 is equal to S2S and S3 is equal to S4S. Given here, 
isentropic efficiency of a compressor is 80% and isentropic efficiency of a turbine is 85%. So this is the formula of backward ratio, work of compressor divided with work of turbine. Then we have this formula, then we convert H with CPDT. Okay, and from previous example, given T1 as a 300 Kelvin, and from previous example, we also have uh, T2S as a 543.42 Kelvin. Now, since the compressor has an isentropic efficiency, then we can find T2A by using this formula. Okay, so new for compressor or isentropic efficiency of compressor is WS over WA CP T2S minus T1 over CP T2A minus T1. Then we will, we will cancel CP, then we will get, uh, we replace the uh, isentropic efficiency of the compressor 80% as a 0.8, then this is T2S, T1, T2A and T1. Then we will get T2A as a 604.275 Kelvin. And also in previous example given here as a T3 as a 1300 Kelvin. And then from the previous example, we calculate and get the T4S as a 717.68 Kelvin. So to find 4A, we use the isentropic efficiency for turbine. And this is the formula WA over WS. Then we will write down as a CP T3 minus T4A. This is for compressor. As this is for turbine and this is for compressor. Okay. Divide with T3 minus T4S. Replace uh, isentropic efficiency of a turbine 0.85 T3 as 1300 T4A 1300 and min minus with 717.68 then we will get T4A as a 805.028 Kelvin and if we get all the uh, temperature at every state okay then we will get BWR as 0.6147 or 61.47 percent which we can say that 61.47% per, 61 of the work of turbine used to drive the compressor. And for thermal efficiency, okay, the, the formula is W net over Q in. Then from the formula, W net is WT minus WC over Q in. So this is W net. So, sorry, this is WT, this is WC over Q in. Then we will get the thermal efficiency as 27.4%. Thank you.